Hey guys, Sovereign Source here, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to unbox a couple of new sovereigns and we're going to talk about how to work out the value of a gold sovereign as well. So here we have the two new beauties and they are both Gillick sovereigns from the 60s. Now a gold sovereign, it has 7.32 grams of fine gold in there, which is 0.2354 ounces. So just under a quarter ounce of fine gold. Bear in mind that the coins are 22 carat, so they do weigh slightly more than that, but that is the fine gold content. So let's just take a closer look. Oh, we've got some beautiful coins there. These were priced at a very competitive price, as cheap as I've seen in the you know, recent times. And there we see the young Elizabeth portrait, which is by Mary Gillick. So sometimes called the first portrait, sometimes called the Gillick Sovereigns. I am actually kind of trying to do a date run as well. So the one I'm missing is a 1957, I think, which is the first year of them. I already do have these two years, uh, or this year, which is twice. But uh, they're still very nice, just bullion sovereigns. So very, very happy with those. Now, when we're working out the value, obviously, if there is 7.32 grams of gold in there, or 0.2354, what we need is the spot price of gold, okay? So, spot price changes throughout the day, sometimes a little bit, sometimes maybe 1%, 2%, but you need the spot price, and you need to multiply it by 0.2354. So, to explain that further, if spot price is 1,500, and we times it by 0.2354, that gives us 353, okay? Which is, if this is in pounds, 1,500, then this would be 353 pounds. So I actually paid 355 for these two, with delivery included, and spot price was a tiny bit lower, but you know we're literally talking to two and a bit percent delivered. So I was happy to pick these up. I would have picked up more had there been any, but it seems like they were the last two in stock. So, you know, you snooze, you lose, and uh, you get what you can uh, get, really. So that is how to work out the intrinsic value of the gold sovereigns. Now, intrinsic value and what you can actually pick them up for are two different things. So the intrinsic value is the gold content without considering any fees to make it into a beautiful coin or refine it or post it, pack it, and send it away, etc. You know, if it's buying from a dealer, they're gonna have overheads, they're gonna have things like staff, premises, security, you know, website maintenance, and, and all these kind of things. So it's very rare you're gonna to go to a dealer and get anything at spot price, especially a sovereign. Now, sovereigns are a great fractional size of gold that do come at a low premium, relatively. So normally, you know, you're buying bigger pieces like the one ounce coins, you would get a lower premium. And if you were going to buy, say, a kilo bar of gold, then yeah, you would get a little bit of a lower premium. There are obviously practical implications to certain sizes. You know, if you're buying kilo bars, you're going to be able to sell them to dealers, but not necessarily going to be many takers on the private market. You know, there's not that many people looking to spend 50 grand on a bar, you know, on their weekly purchase, maybe, maybe I've just not come across them, but there are people that will buy them and they, they will sell. So for me, buying the sovereigns makes the most sense in the UK. They are fractional and uh, you know easy to pick up at this kind of price point. I can buy a few a month and uh, you know build a nice stack of them. And also I've got that flexibility when it comes time to sell. You know, I could sell a few, I could sell 10, I could sell 30, I could sell 100 and you know, they would all go even in the same afternoon, you know, maybe on a slower day, they might hang around if I wanted, uh, you know, a bit more premium, but I could just walk into a bullion dealer and easily sell them. On the second hand market, like I say, I got these for just over 2%. Uh, it's not uncommon to see 2 to 3% on sovereigns, but I'd say, you know, 5 to 6% is pretty typical with delivery and things like that. So if you are going to a dealer and you're looking to pay a fair price, you know, you won't, you won't get them for spot price normally, but you may get them, you know, around 10 or 15 pounds over spot. That's fairly, uh, fairly good. 
and that is just for bullion sovereigns. So if you're looking at the newer year, so at the moment we're in 2022, you might be paying a little bit more, you know, a couple of pounds more in premium. If you're looking at some of the special years, some of the big five, then again, you might be just having to pay a little bit more there um, as these, you know, they have quite a little bit of a premium for being just these special years. Now, other sovereigns, very, very old ones, so pre-Victorias or Shields and things like that, they do go for another premium again. And if you're looking, say for example, at a coin in this condition that was from you know, the early 1800s, you would be paying multiples of the spot price. You would not be paying your 3% premium on those. But there's pros and cons, you know, if you want to have more pieces, and you want low risk with just bullion, then you will be able to get more of these just, you know, low premium sovereigns. If you want to start maybe a collection, then yeah, you might be looking at some of these more expensive coins and you would expect to either have to sell to a collector or take some time selling, you know, they're not gonna be things that you could go to a bullion dealer and get full price for on the same afternoon. You'd probably get better than, uh, you know, a, a bullion price, but you wouldn't necessarily get all those collector premiums back because obviously the dealer's got to move it on as well. So whilst you might be able to facilitate the process, take a small cut, it's probably not going to be, you know, realizing the full top end collector value, but there's always a trade off between convenience and price. So not all sovereigns are created equal. Like I say, some you will be paying more for, some you will be paying bit less for it just depends what it is you're after so hope you enjoyed the video and hope you found it useful like i say if you're paying 10 to 15 pounds over the spot price that you worked out as we did before then you should do okay in the long run and just remember to spread those purchases out so you're not exposed to the peaks and troughs in the market so these two will take me up to 86 sovereigns i have four more on the way and i also picked up some halves recently and just looking out for the next deal. So hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one.